Hello friends, welcome once again to my living room in Northeast Edmonton in Alberta, Canada. I'm Warren Mack and this is Recital 7 of our Isolation Weeks Organ Recital Series. This week I am, you might guess, going to do a recital in honor of Mothers and Mother's Day. To that end I'm going to begin with the famous Arrival of the Queen of Sheba, which begins Act 3 of the Oratorio of Solomon by George Frederick Handel in which he tries to portray the very lavish reception that Solomon gave to the, this arrival of the Queen of Saba or Ethiopia or Arabia or wherever she was actually from uh, as she arrived in Jerusalem to investigate his uh, celebrated wisdom. It is my hope that on this day, and even in isolation, all mothers everywhere will feel as honored, as appreciated, and as thanked as the Queen of Sheba did upon arriving in Jerusalem. be remiss in doing a Mother's Day recital if I didn't do a piece to honor the, the most famous, most beloved mother of all, that is to say Mary, the mother of Jesus. And there are innumerable settings of Ave Maria that one could uh, 
choose from, but I've chosen for this recital today the uh, setting that Charles Gounod uh, did based on Bach's prelude number one in C major from the first book of the Well-Tempered Clavier. Now it takes a lot of guts to say, well, I'm going to take a Bach piece and improve on it, uh, but Gounod was a genius in his own right and was able to take that beautiful prelude and put an even more beautiful melody on top of it and create this, this very beloved setting of Ave Maria, which I'd like to play for you right now. And if you'll indulge me, let's have a little candlelight for this. longer than maybe two feet, 
and was pumped with one hand without a reservoir. So when you ran out of air, you you ha you didn't have any more air from the reservoir. You had to re re uh, inflate the bellows and start again. So the beast breathed literally. Um, and also, I'm playing it with drones because it just makes the music a little bit more interesting. Ave Generosa by Hildegard von Bingen. <laughs> introduce you now to the music of a Canadian composer who, just like Hildegard von Bingen, uh, really made her own tonal universe. I'm talking, of course, about Canada's own Violet Archer, who I was privileged to know for a few years. Violet was, uh, she was born in Montreal and got her first degrees from McGill University, then went to New York to study with Bela Bartok, and later went to Yale to study with uh, Paul Hindemith. So her, her training was certainly of the highest, highest level. 
Uh, her music is staggeringly well crafted, although sometimes you don't exactly understand it, but it always leaves you knowing that there is something of tremendous structure there. In this chorale prelude, for example, for organ, uh, she sets the, which is based on the hymn tune, Dominus Regit Me, the King of Love, My Shepherd is, uh, she sets the chorale tune in the pedal most of the time, but she chooses to depart from that when it suits her. Now normally, uh, if Bach were doing this, he would never say, well, the pedal will be the tune at this moment, but later he's going to let it be the bass. No, but Violet Archer does that. And it's largely because her conception is very, very orchestral in this. It, it just shines through. You can tell that from the way that she's done the phrasing and the dynamic marking in here. Um, and this music is serious. And I have to say that Violet Archer was an intense and serious composer. Five foot, whatever it is, no, not taller than me, so maybe five foot three and weighing only 90 pounds and all of it pure energy directed towards music. Uh, she was incredibly rhythmically gifted, largely because she was also a percussionist as well. Uh, and in her quiet way, she could be so intimidating, like the time she came and stood over me uh, at my church while I was playing the post flutes. Can you imagine that? Um, she's not standing over my shoulder right now, so I will play this chorale prelude for organ by uh, Violet Archer on Dominus Regit May.
I may have mentioned that one of Violet's uh, main characteristics was a profound seriousness. She was so intense about her music, so much so that even when she was asked to write a, a, a little kid's piece for the Grade 5 book of the Royal Conservatory series, and she wrote a piece called Jig, uh, even this is, is what I would call in its way intense and serious, and so well crafted for such a short piece. Uh, so this is a little bit of Violet Archer light uh, called Jig, and of course uh, this is piano piece, and I'm playing it on organ.
And now to conclude this recital, I'm going to play something for you completely different, completely different in fact than almost anything I've ever played in the whole recital series. Because it's Mother's Day, I'm going to play a piece for you that was my, one of my mother's favorite pieces of music. I'm talking about the famous uh, Liebestraum number no. three by Franz Liszt, or by Fliszt, as Victor Borga used to joke. Now these are uh, tone poems, nocturnes really, that Liszt set based on poems by two uh, German poets, and they actually have words. They were actually sung back in their day, and they are full of romantic arpeggios and romantic excess, all of which doesn't translate terribly well to organ. So I was very happy to find this transcription by Gordon Bausch Nevin uh, that I think manages to convey the romantic essence of it um, and make it a little bit easier, no big cadenzas as the original has. So to conclude this Mother's Day recital, Franz Liszt, Gordon Bausch Nevin, and W. Mack will try and paint a dream of love for you. Mm.
Thursday. We'll see you at the next recital.